All right, so for starting part two of this video, uh, I've made one change to this battery pack. I mean, really, all I've done is stuck this uh, XT60 connector on it here. Uh, so that's pretty simple, just solder the XT60 onto the ends of, uh, I've got 10 gauge wire here. Should be able to handle a pretty good amount of current. And then uh, solder it corner to corner. So you notice this one's on the back side. If I flip this one over, it's on the front side. In the front battery pack here and that should help these drain evenly should also help them charge evenly uh, at least as evenly as possible uh, but <clears throat> today I'm gonna be doing the discharge testing uh, I'm gonna run two discharge tests I'm gonna run one where I just pull I'll get 25 amps or so out of this which will be this test and then I'm gonna do a slightly slower discharge test and I'll just use a single 40 watt light bulb for that um, and we'll see about that but <clears throat> I've already actually filmed this section but I've decided to trash all that footage because A the batteries weren't technically broken yet and B my connections to the inverter weren't all that good so I don't think it's really a fair test of these batteries so I've made an actual cable to go to the inverter, uh, XT60 connector on that as well. Uh, this is just a little 300 watt Walmart inverter. Um, uh, here I have a watt meter. Uh, I will say this thing's a little bit off. If I actually plug this in, this thing reads a bit low. So these measurements will actually be lower than what the real capacity is, but you notice it says 12.41 volts. I just took these off the charger, they should be 12.6, and this thing does read low, so, yeah, I think the current measurement's okay, I mean, I don't really have anything to really uh, check that against, though. So, anyhow, right now, over here, I've got two 100 watt light bulbs, so that's 200 watts. On this little test bench, little test piece of wood or whatever. Um, <clears throat> and then in this lamp, there's a 40 watt light bulb, and those are both hooked up to this inverter. Alright, so I went ahead and brought in a stopwatch as well. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and switch on the inverter. You hear the fan on the inverter kicks on, and so do my, uh, all my light bulbs. And then we'll start the timer. And if you look at this, this is saying we're pulling 200 and, let's see, 227-ish is what I'm going to say. About 20 amps. Yeah, so that, yeah, like I said, I do believe this does read a bit low. So, anyhow, I'll go ahead and let this run. You'll see this thing gives me amp hours, watt hours. Uh, the peak amperage, minimum voltage, peak wattage, and back to amp hour. So this first test is just really high, low drain. It's not going to give me the full capacity. Uh, that's what the second test will be for. Uh, this will probably give me uh, a quarter of the capacity just because I'm trying to run these down so quickly. Uh, that's just how these are. Because you'll lose a lot of voltage out of the batteries when you're pulling this much, and the inverter's going to shut off uh, a little bit before it would under a lower load. So, anyhow, I'm going to let this run. Uh, I'll come back when it's done, and then we'll, uh, well, I'll charge these back up, and then I'll just do the test with the single 40 watt light bulb that's in that lamp. So, anyhow, we'll see you when this test gets done. All right, the inverter's alarm has started going off. Uh, 22 minutes and 30 seconds is what these uh, batteries ran that little bit of a load for. They are a little bit warm. Let's see. That's Fahrenheit there. 114, 116 degrees in the hottest there. Okay, so 116 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the hottest there they are, which isn't too much of a concern I can still hold on to these no problem 
Let's see what we've got for our amp hours here. Six and three quarters is what it looks like. Six point seven four three amp hours and seventy two point seven watt hours. All right, and you see this still says that we have eleven point four volts left in the battery, so these aren't really dead yet, and their uh, voltage has just dipped below what it, the uh, inverter likes. So, anyhow, next thing I'll do, I'll let these cool off, and then I'll go ahead and charge them back up, and we'll do a slower discharge test on them. All right, so it's time to do the test again, just with a single 40 watt light bulb. All right, so it's been three and a half hours since the last time. The inverter's uh, low voltage alarm has started to go off, so I've shut that down and we'll see what we've actually got here in terms of capacity running a 40 watt light bulb. Uh, we got 141 watt hours. Wait for this to come back around to uh, amp hours. Okay, about 12 and a half amp hours. Now the full capacity of that battery bank should be something like 17.6 amp hours. And it's not uh, completely dead, I'm sure. So that's actually right about where it should be. So let's go ahead and check the voltage here. This is saying 10 and a half or so, 10.49. Let's see what my meter thinks it is. Yeah, 10.6 according to this meter, which is probably a lot more accurate than the one that's in that little uh, power meter thing. Maybe, if I can get a connection on there, I suppose. There you go, 10.6 volts uh, still left in the battery. So, no problem there. Uh, I think uh, the 12.5 amp hours is actually pretty reasonable. Uh, considering the lowest voltage you can take these things to is 9 volts and that's what these are going to be rated at so now if we wanted to get more capacity out of this uh, what we could do is just run something that takes only about an amp maybe for example uh, run a phone charger off of this or something like that uh, those might not even take quite an amp, but uh, also run it all the way down to 9 volts and run it down all the way really, really slowly. That will give you uh, more capacity. Um, but uh, that, of course, the further you run these down, the more damage you do to the batteries and stuff like that. It's, uh, the shallower the discharge, the better. Uh, these will last longer if you don't kill them all the way. Uh, so 10.6 volts still left in these is pretty good and three and a half hours to run a 40 watt load it's not too bad uh, so this as a lithium power bank should actually be pretty useful uh, so the next part of this video we're gonna start uh, making the case to put this in some kind of enclosure because it's not really safe or secure just kinda hanging out here 